Hey guys, Wicked here. This is the surprise I was telling you guys about in the Midnight Man. Go check that out if you haven't. From now on, every Sunday I'll be uploading stories, so expect uploads three days a week now on this channel. Enjoy. Ever wonder how there are so many Nurse Joys in the Pokemon games? We've all been told that it's because they have a lot of sisters, but really, is it possible to have that many genetically identical siblings? Well, you never know, but still, they didn't want to let anyone know the real reason. It's far too unreal and out of character if anyone knew her secret. I found out. Uh, and I can tell you, it all starts when you walk in the Pokemon Center. You walk up to her and see her bright pink hair. You greet her and she has this pretty voice that wasn't actually pretty to start with. You may or may not have a talk. She takes your Pokemon, turns around, heals them, and then gives them back. That's the usual routine. Most likely she'll be all nice and caring through the whole process, give or take the personality she has, because supposedly each one is unique in personality. What you don't know is that she installed a tracking device in your Pokeballs, all six of them, in case one falls off. Why? Well, when you enter the building, she knew you'd be perfect. She knew you had the characteristics of the job. Plus, you were still a new trainer. The less known, the better. Anyway, she keeps you tracked and alerts the other nurse joys you might encounter. That way, when you get, get to one of them, well, let's just say they can care for you. However, if one of the nurse joys sees a trainer they want and stays in the center to sleep overnight, they're real fun. You are assigned to a room, most likely a room near the back of the Pokemon Center. Can I take your Pokemon to another room so they can be healed and rested? She may ask. Say no. Just say no. It's their way to isolate you. All of your belongings can go in this drawer so you can lock it and keep your items safe while you sleep, she says in her voice, you know, but will soon not love. The joys do this to keep you unarmed. Of course, you trust these kind nurses to all the items you had in the drawer, and she gives you the lock. Good night, please, and enjoy your rest. She tries to comfort you, but if you look closely, you may notice the fake face she has because Almost always they are full of excitement before the procedure happens. Can you guess the real reason now? If yes, then well done. If not, keep it. At about midnight, usually when it's all dark and no living thing is up and about, except for our lovely and sadistic nurse, Elby. The door to your room op gently opens. Weak or creaking noise because she was smart enough to oil the door so no sound is made when it's open. She comes in with a gurney, you know, those medical stretch things they use to carry injured people. Her face is not so sweet anymore, but more devilish. She enjoys this ritual. She loves it. The rush, the adrenaline she eats, the red glow in her eyes. It's as if she's possessed by the devil himself. Although you're sound asleep, she doesn't take any chances, so she shakes out a needle. No, it's not poison, so it's a liquid form of sleep powder in a very high dose. An ounce could keep you asleep for, say, two hours. A needle has ten ounces. She needs all the time she can get for the procedure to be successful. So you're knocked out on a gurney being pushed down the hall into a room that's been disguised as the nurse's only room. If you ever somehow manage to see what's inside, here's what you would see. Severed limbs and appendages of different sizes in jars. Only ones that didn't transform properly. There are also testicles. Yeah, she cuts them off. She drags the male's body underneath a saw tool that slices them off. She doesn't mind the bleeding. Actually, she collects it through the drain and jars it. You know, when she needs a drink. After all, 
all the joys need a constant supply of blood. Now the next part is her favorite. Joy takes a knife and slices it down from the base of your neck to your groin. She does this very gently because she enjoys it, and if you were to wake up, then you can suffer slowly. At this point, Joy's hair is not neat. It's covered with blood. Her face has completely changed. Her pupil is completely blood red, and her teeth have suddenly grown a bit, causing them to look like fangs. No, no, she is not a vampire. Well, she could be, but that's not the point. Joy then has a smile that's a mix of a clown and a demon because she takes out a bottle of serum with special DNA molecules in it. Joy's DNA molecules, to be exact. But before she does anything with it, Joy takes out all your organs, except for a couple like your heart and brain. She stitches your open incision, but it's not a decent job. After all, it won't matter. The serum needs to be directly poured on the brain for it to work. So naturally, Joy will take out a saw, a regular old saw, and slice your skull just enough for the brain to be showing. The serum is poured, and after a few minutes, your body is becoming more Joy-like. The heart and brain are revived while new organs, joy organs, grow in the empty cavity that is your body. All your cuts are healed and it was as if you had perfect skin. The process is complete. You wake up the next day wanting to work at a Pokemon Center anywhere with you. But you also have a DNA molecule forcing you to look out for minor trainers that could be the next joy. Of course, with this comes the ability to do what has been done to you. The thing is, you think you were born identical to other nurse joys. Why go through the trouble making people turn into joys? Why not just clone? Them? Well, I found out the original joy would like to someday rule the world with an army of joys that would do anything because it is in their DNA. To follow the original. But cloning would attract too much attention. Plus the whole, I have a lot of sisters that are identical, seems to have been a good story. There you have it. Now you know. Wonder how I know this? Well, who's always with Nurse Joy? Who's the one in the background helping her? It's me, Chansey. Though I was told not to ever speak of this information, even though I am a Pokemon. So my advice to you is to come to the Pokemon Center at your own risk. You never know. The thing about the real Nurse Joy is, she likes to hunt around by So when you're all alone sleeping or just relaxing, don't think you'll be safe. Here she has a nice demonic face at you with. Oh, looks like she chose. She just chose another victim. I think. Hey guys, Wicked here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the uploads for this week. If you did, please support my channel by clicking the like button and subscribing. Until next time, Wicked signing off.